today's video as well. So today is part three, the third week check-in with the Benzagel 3-in-1 Acne Treatment Kit. Now if you aren't completely really caught up with this series, I will have um, week one and two as well as the introduction video to this series listed in the description box down below so that way you can catch up before I get into this one. So let's dive right into this week's video. I'm just going to zoom you in real close, show you my face, and then give you guys just a little rundown. So as you can see right here on my cheek, there are still a few red spots as well on this side. My chin is not as bad as it was last week, but I still have a few breakouts here. I did have a breakout up here, but I put the spot on acne gel on it and I noticed it got smaller and it's still there, but the head of the pimple is gone, so that's good. Other than that, I have noticed that the bumps I was talking about last week have kind of gone away or gone down a little bit. So I do think it was my skin purging and not like a reaction to the face wash, which is really good. That means that a lot of the dead, nasty gunk that was built up behind my pores are coming out. And that's probably why a lot of them have heads. I'm almost tempted to go buy a pimple extractor from Walgreens and see if it'll empty, if it'll pop those bumps. But I'm not going to. I'm going to let them do their own thing. They will cycle their way out with time. Let me just tell you, I cannot wait to start back on my retinol. So yeah, that's about it. I mean... The results this week are definitely much better than last week. I'm really excited with where my skin's going. We only have one more week of this stuff, so I'm really nervous and excited to see if my face will change any more within the next week or not. Fingers crossed, but I'm not 100% sure. But I'm all really excited to see what comes next. So that was short and sweet to the point, I know. And again, I'm sorry if the lighting in this video is kind of wonky. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong with my lighting because either it gets oversaturated and washes out or it's too dark. And I just, I'm like pulling my hair out while editing because it'll flash and go like completely stark white while editing, especially during like an eyeshadow tutorial. And there's no way to fix that post edit. So, so if you have any tips or tricks for a Canon PowerShot SX530HS, let me know down below because I need help. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I need help. So yeah, with that, I'm going to get going. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was short. I'm sorry. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to join my hashtag butterfly squad, make sure you ring that bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific, so you don't want to miss out. And on Monday afternoons around 2, 2.30, I go live with Let's Play Mondays where I stream a video game off of my PS4. And on Friday nights around 7.30, 8 o'clock, I go live beauty chats with Jen where I talk about anything and everything beauty related or just hang out and have fun. If you want to ever want to hang out and just chat, catch me on a live stream. And with that, I'm going to get going. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Maybe next time. So I will see you guys in the next video. As always, I wish you lots of love and whiskers, and I will catch you next time. Love you. Bye. What if I told you I couldn't stay? Take me or leave me. You can still walk away.